In the history of Japan, ninjas were individuals who served daimyos or lords, employing skills such as espionage, swordsmanship, sorcery, and pharmacology, collectively known as ninjutsu. While there are various theories, it is generally believed that ninjas were active from the 12th to the 18th century. Operating as intelligence units, they utilize various tools and weapons known as ninja tools. Some of these are familiar from anime and others are less well known. In this video, I will introduce six representative ninja tools that were used by ninjas. Number one, Shuriken. Shuriken are one of the most representative weapons among ninja tools. They are small, sharp, easily portable weapons used by spinning and throwing at an opponent. While shuriken are often depicted in manga and movies as offensive weapons, they were primarily used for defense, helping ninjas escape from tight situations. Ninjas mainly relied on their physical abilities and various spy techniques, so shuriken were also used by samurai for self-defense. There were multiple types of shuriken, including those shaped like daggers or swords, hairpin-shaped ones, octagonal ones, and foldable ones. Carrying iron shuriken as ninja tools was a bit impractical due to their weight and bulk, making it difficult to carry dozens like the ninjas in anime. In reality, only a few shuriken were typically carried. Shuriken were developed around the 16th century, Prior to their invention, ninjas used a technique called tonjutsu to evade enemy pursuit. This involved throwing weapons at the enemy to create a diversion and escape. The weapons used varied, including stones, short swords, or needles found along the way. However, short swords were costly and not easily portable, while needles, though portable and inexpensive, were too light for effective throwing. Shuriken emerged as a disposable weapon designed to overcome these shortcomings. To enhance their lethality, Shuriken were sometimes coated with poison. They were widely used by ninjas who often had covert missions, including assassination. Therefore, Shuriken Jutsu was strongly associated with assassination techniques rather than being considered a conventional martial art like swordsmanship. However, there are still schools that preserve these ancient martial arts, and enthusiasts continue to practice and pass down the skills of Shuriken Jutsu today. Number 2. Kunai Kunai is another weapon synonymous with ninjas, alongside the Shuriken. Known for its lethal capacity, the name Kunai in Japanese implies a tool that brings about a quick, painless death. Kunai typically have a flat, iron claw-like shape with a very sharp tip. There are two sizes. The larger kunai measured approximately 5.1 to 5.9 inches in length, while the smaller kunai were around 3.1 to 3.9 inches long. In anime, ninjas are often seen throwing kunai like shuriken or using them as swords. In reality, kunai served a variety of purposes beyond combat. They were used for breaking locks during infiltrations, stabbing into walls to create footholds for climbing, digging holes, and other versatile applications. Originally, it is believed that kunai were not weapons, but agricultural tools repurposed for their multifunctional utility. Besides these uses, the iron composition of the kunai made it suitable for conducting heat, allowing it to be used as a makeshift frying pan. The ring-shaped end could be used to thread ropes or cords, and it could even be filled with water to create a makeshift lens. In the anime Naruto, kunai are cleverly used by attaching explosive tags to the ring-shaped end, creating a bomb that detonates upon impact. This illustrates a creative adaptation of the kunai's design. Number 3. Makibishi Makibishi were a type of tool used by ninjas consisting of spiked objects scattered on the ground 
to hinder or injure pursuing enemies. These were deployed not only to prevent enemy pursuit, but also as a means of attack by causing foot injuries. Although makibishi are famously associated with ninjas, the iron variants often depicted in manga were rare. More commonly, dried fruits such as water caltrops or mulberries were shaped into triangular forms for use as makibishi. While iron makibishi were the most effective in terms of attack, they were expensive and heavy, making them impractical for use in large quantities. Consequently, ninjas often use those made from dried fruits like hishi. Makibishi could also be crafted from materials other than plant fruits, including wood and bamboo. In pre-modern Japan, straw sandals were commonly worn, even in military attire. So even wooden makibishi could significantly impede movement. Notably, all makibishi were triangular and pyramidal in shape, ensuring that a spike side would always face upward regardless of how they were thrown. For transportation, makibishi were typically carried in bamboo tubes. This method of carrying allowed them to be quickly dispersed by shaking them out towards an enemy, even aiming for the face, thus using them as a weapon. Number 4. Kusarigama Kusarigama is a weapon consisting of a sickle attached to a chain with a weight at the end of the chain. Its use involved several techniques throwing the weight to strike an enemy's head, shins, or forearms, using the chain to disarm an enemy's weapon, or entangling an enemy's wrists or ankles to immobilize them before delivering a final blow with the sickle end in the left hand. Originally developed from agricultural tools, the kusarigama was used primarily by those not permitted to carry swords, such as farmers and merchants, as a means of self-defense. In various Japanese martial arts schools, it was also used as a concealed weapon. There are many variations of the kusarigama, but all require considerable training for effective use in combat. The kusarigama developed around the 16th century, and due to its complexity and difficulty in mastering, specific martial arts dedicated to its use, known as kusarigama jutsu, emerged with various schools teaching different techniques. There are two common forms of kusariyama, one with the chain and weight attached to the top of the sickle's head, and the other with the chain and weight attached to the end of the handle. The variant with the chain and weight attached to the top of the sickle's head is generally designed for one-handed use, made smaller to reduce strain on the wrist. In contrast, the version with the chain and weight at the end of the handle is intended for two-handed use, featuring a larger sickle and a longer chain, typically ranging from about 6.6 .6 to 13.1 feet in length. Similar to Japanese swords, the kusarigama is considered a type of bladed weapon. However, most of the existing kusarigama were crafted by knife blacksmiths, with very few made by swordsmiths. Number 5. Tanzutsu. Ninjas carried a small type of matchlock gun known as Tanzutsu. Unlike modern handguns, these matchlock guns required constant attention, as the matchlock had to be kept lit at all times during battle, making them quite challenging to handle. Firearms were introduced to Japan in the 16th century by Portuguese aboard a Chinese ship. Gradually, these weapons spread throughout Japan. Being part of intelligence units, ninjas leveraged their information networks to acquire the latest technological advancements, including newly introduced matchlock guns. This significantly enhanced their military capabilities. Moreover, ninjas were adept at handling gunpowder, which they frequently used in their ninjutsu techniques, making them particularly skilled in the use of firearms. In battles, their cutting-edge military strength was highly valued by the warlords of the Sengoku period. The Saika Shu, a group of mercenary ninjas, is one of the most famous examples. They extensively used matchlock guns and played a significant role during the Sengoku era. 
Ninjas also employed a weapon called Hyakuraiju, which consisted of several tubes filled with gunpowder tied together. These tubes were detonated in succession to disorient or attack the enemy. An adaptation of this concept was the Noroshizutsu, a signaling device created by mixing wolf feces with gunpowder. When ignited, the resulting smoke was used for communication purposes. Number 6. Ninja To. Ninja To, a sword used by ninjas, is also well known among ninja tools. Contrary to the common image of ninjas carrying katana on their backs, the ninja to has distinct features. It has a shorter and straighter blade with no curvature. While a typical katana has a blade length of about 28 inches, a ninja to is much shorter, around 16 inches. This design was practical for ninjas who specialized in stealth. A standard katana would have been too long and cumbersome for the swift, agile movements required in their operations. The straight blade also prevented it from catching on obstacles like trees or walls when moving quickly. In the anime Naruto, the character Sasuke's trademark weapon is a short, straight sword, embodying the characteristics of a ninja to. This type of sword is indeed representative of the ones used by ninjas. Additionally, the ninja to was designed to be inconspicuous in the dark, enabling ninjas to operate without being noticed by enemies. The scabbard and handle of the sword were often black and had a matte finish to prevent reflection and avoid drawing attention. Another unique feature of the ninja to, particularly for its use as a ninja tool, was its unusually large and square-shaped handguard. This design was practical. The ninjas used the sword as a step by thrusting it into the ground, aiding them in scaling walls or fences. Like the kunai, the ninja to served multiple purposes, highlighting the diverse and versatile nature of ninja activities beyond just combat. This multifunctionality is indicative of the wide range of tasks and skills ninja were expected to perform. Japanese traditional knives are recognized as first class by professional chefs worldwide for their sharpness, akin to that of Japanese swords. This is partly due to the history of swordsmiths. For over a thousand years, swordsmiths have been creating numerous swords for battles, playing a vital role. However, with the arrival of peaceful times in the 18th century, the demand for swords declined. Many master craftsmen then shifted from sword making to knife making, passing on their swordsmithing techniques to knife crafting. This is why Japanese knives possess such exceptional sharpness. I want everyone to experience the excellent sharpness and the beauty of the blades of Japanese knives. At Hocho Knife, you can purchase knives online made by Japanese knife artisans. They offer a wide variety of knives, so please find and purchase your unique knife. For the product page, please check the description of this video. We hope you enjoyed this exploration into the world of Japanese swords. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content about the history of Japanese swords. Until next time, sayonara.